To be in with a chance of winning my weekly Destiny 2 Better Call giveaway, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I bring you Zer's loot and location for the 5th of May 2017. Now it's located in the tower in the vanguard room so once you head into the vanguard room you'll see him on your right hand side so let's check out what he has this week okay so we have a legacy engram costing 31 strange coins remember people this will only give you that year one gear so if you're after a year two uh, heavy weapon do not purchase this it is a complete waste of your time and strange coins okay for the titan this week we have the twilight garrison probably my favorite pvp exotic in the game bar none and i'm a hunter i may know hunter but i love using my titan for pvp using this thing i mean it's just so easy to evade people it's just crazy i love this thing i really do offers 350 defense costing 13 strange coins offering intellect discipline Unfortunately, not tier 12 compatible, but still definitely worth picking up if you don't own it already. For the Hunter this week, we have the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets, offering intellect strength. Again, not tier 12 compatible, also costing 13 strange coins. And I've had these from basically day one. I don't think I've ever used them. I mean, I just think they're pointless. I mean, okay, they're okay in the starting room at the quarters end raid, and that is about it. <laughs> I mean, they're useless everywhere else. I mean, like, I don't see a use for them literally anywhere else in the game. But yeah, it is what it is. So in my opinion, don't bother wasting your strange coins unless you're an exotic collector like me. And then you may as well buy it. Okay, for the wallet this week, we have the Void Vang Vestment, offering intellect discipline and 350 defense, costing 13 strange coins. Again, not tier 12 compatible. Um, but they actually are quite decent. Uh, PvP exotic chest piece, it really is. I mean, spawn with full grenade and axiom bolt gains additional seeker. I mean, axiom bolts standard chase me across the damn map with these, they're just OP, they really are. Okay, exotic weapon of the week, we have the Mira Multi Tool, an amazing exotic weapon. If you don't own this, people, make sure you pick it up. It is an amazing exotic weapon, especially for that PvP, costing 23 strange coins, also. Okay, exotic weapon bundles we have this week. We have the Zalo Supercell and Shark Hazard, which I'll show you guys on screen now. And we have the Monte Carlo and Royal Flush, which will also be on screen now. These will cost you 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust. And basically, besides these things here, that is it for Zer this week. And now there's a few things to cover and talk about from Bungie's weekly update that dropped yesterday. Um, the main thing is that Mayhem Clash is coming back in the form of Iron Banner. Now when I saw this, I got super excited about it. I thought, yeah, Mayhem Clash Iron Banner, that would be absolutely epic. But then I thought about all the sticky grenades that are going to be flying about the place, sticking your ass. I mean, it's going to be annoying, it really is. I mean, I'm seeing it right here, right now. I can just, I mean, PvP now can get pretty annoying with the amount of fusion grenades, sticky grenades that just get you yeah, and just you can't do anything about it. Um, mayhem it's gonna be it's just gonna be like team of six warlocks imagine that jesus it's gonna be a nightmare but still i look forward to playing it anyway um gear you can earn you can get the clever dragon pulse rifle and the silver dread as well as the chest piece and the legs i believe yes it is the chest piece and the legs there are the armor and weapons that will drop from the iron banner and besides that, from the weekly update, they spoke a little bit about uh, Destiny 2, which I will cover now. Um, basically, they start the weekly update with this. This week at Bungie, we are feeling supercharged. The Destiny gameplay reveal event is likely on your mind. It's certainly on ours. We have two short weeks to get ready to put on a show. The venue is booked. Our presenters have been chosen. Invitations are still going out. Soon the stage will be set. This is an exciting time for us. If internet chat is to be believed, some of you are excited as well. The only thing better than showing off 
our hard work is letting the world storm into the final product. But we're getting way ahead of ourselves. First, we have to show you what we've been up to inside our studio. Then begins a whole summer of moments when you'll learn more or even play for yourself. This is the beginning of a journey and you're all invited to take the first step with us. And that's basically all they had to say about Destiny 2, which I can just personally not wait for. And if you guys don't know, because I didn't really make a video about it, I have been invited out by Bungie to play this game early and record footage for you guys, which I cannot wait for. And that's basically all down to you guys and the amazing support you've been showing me over the past, well since our Destiny journey started together. I can't thank you enough, I really can't. And other than that guys, that is it for another video. Did I mention as well that uh, Mayhem Clash Iron Banner is coming next Tuesday, which is the 9th of May, obviously lasting a week. But yes, other than that guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by, and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right, left in the dark.